Ajaxio's fate has been sealed for a long time now, but the Islanders' new defeat at home to Bordeaux would officially rubber stamp their return to the second division after a three-year stay in the top flight. The visitors at the stade, Francois Cotty. Bordeaux, meanwhile, do anything but a win would likely extinguish their outside hopes of European football next term. Given what was at stake, it was no surprise to see Ajaxio start the match at breakneck pace. Joshua Nadeau firing an early chance into the side netting. Claude Dielna forced Bordeaux keeper Cedric Carasso to tip over his free kick from 25 yards as Ajaxio continued to threaten. The host came in having won just three games this season and they really should have gone ahead on 22 minutes as Benjamin Andre sprung the offside trap but failed to hit the target with just Carasso to beat. That missed chance summing up Ajaxio's season in a nutshell. Well, Andre again went close shortly after. This time the midfielder firing narrowly wide at the top corner from distance. Guillermo Ochoa has been one of the lone bright spots for the league's bottom side this term. The Mexican international foiling Guillermo Oaro to here to keep things goalless. Ochoa then pulled off an even better save shortly after. This time flying to his left to claw away Diego Roland's curling effort. 0-0 at half time in Corsica despite plenty of chances. The hosts at least giving the home fans reason for optimism despite their impending relegation while Bordeaux made two changes at the break with both UC and Jake Diabate thrown into the fray to help bolster the attack. Ocho is proving a difficult man to beat. Gregory Sirtik, the next man to be denied by the Ajaxio keeper. The frustration growing for Bordeaux coach Francis Gilo. The introduction of Juicy proved an inspired move from Gilo though. Sirtik whipped a free kick towards the far post. While the Brazilian stole in uncontested to volley past Ocho for his seventh goal of the season. That's his best ever return in the French top flight. Well, that goal looked like being the one to consign Ajaxo to League 2, but the Islanders rallied and were handed a stay of execution as captain Mehdi Mustafa fired home a superb equaliser five minutes from time after a spot of head tennis inside the Bordeaux penalty area. The Algerian with his third goal in just over a month to rescue a point for Christian Bracconi's beleaguered side. Mustafa overcome with emotion as Ajaxo lived to fight on another week at least while disappointment for Bordeaux as they're held to a fifth straight draw. Francis Gilo's men are now without a win in the last seven.